Now, though, we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge, as always, by the beautiful Trudy Brewer, who is here to help us all master the art of liquid liner. Good morning, Good Trudy. Good morning. Firstly, it's a little bit terrifying to me, liquid liner, but more on that in a minute. Why should we wear eyeliner? Um, it's interesting. I think the, probably the reason is to give your eyes some definition, but also to elongate your eyes. So if your eyes are really close together and you want to elongate them, mm -hmm. liner does that. And just actually look, give you that wake, woken up look. I mean, your eyes are instantly awake when you've got some liner on them. And you can just have a very thin line for definition. It doesn't need to be thick. It doesn't have to be thick, okay. Um, and it's fun. You know, makeup's fun. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to have an end result. You can just play around and try new looks and have a bit of fun. It happens to be on trend too right now. Well, so. That's very good. So what sort of um, look is on trend with the eyeliner? Um, slightly thicker actually, with a lot more colour and a little bit of sparkle, which I really like. You don't have to always throw yourself, I mean, there's black there in saying that, but that's yeah. a lovely wing look. But you don't always have to go look with a black liner. That takes me back to 1987 that or so. Remember that was so yeah. beautiful. But as you can see, there's not much else going on, like yeah. just a lovely groomed brow, a beautiful liner, and you're done with a bit of lip gloss and a bit of bronzer. That is gorgeous. It's a great summer look too with waterproof liners. You know, it just stays all day. Oh, that's exactly what you want, especially yeah. if you rub your eyes a bit. Um, yeah. Liquid liner, though, is one of the hardest makeup looks to master. It is. Have you got some insider? tips for us? I think it's finding the product that you feel comfortable using is my first tip mm. because there's no point thinking okay I'm going to get a liquid gel liner and I'm just going to use that because that's I want to use that. You need to try a few different things. I mean there's gel liners, there's paint, there's felt tip pen liners that are actually just like a vivid felt okay. tip marker which are actually very very easy to apply. There's a cream or a gel. I mean you can get a liquid liner look with a very sharp pencil as well so if you're used to using a pencil and you if you feel very comfortable with that, just make it very sharp and do my dot dash application that I like to talk about, where you just put a little dot and then dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, and, and actually it's like joining up the dots. Okay, so what about, really what about when you get to the outside of your eye? That's where I always go horribly wrong. And well, I don't, where do I go? Do I okay. go up? Do I go? Well, where does it go? You know what? Do the flick first. You don't have to start at the end and run the liner along. Actually create the flick and then work backwards. So you should have a nice upward flick because if yep. it's down too low, you're going to look droopy, That's aren't you? That's right. And my, my tip with that is to look into the mirror at your eye shape and try and follow the natural eye shape. I mean, that's a slightly, that's really on trend, slightly thicker eyeliner look, which is that beautiful. Looks nice. That's a combination of liquid and pencil. So actually draw a little triangle out to the side of the eye and apply your flick, look in the mirror and then join it up. Okay. So you don't have to try and run at it all at once. That's when I think people get into trouble. What about people who use tape to sort of tape up their eye? Does yeah, that, that work? works really well. The other thing is a spoon, just the end of a spoon. Just draw along, hold a little teaspoon there and draw the flick along with the teaspoon. Um, tape is excellent, sellotape. The only thing is with some of the liquid liners that are more a dry, wet dry um, formulation, mm -hmm. you can end up pulling the liner off once you Ooh. remove the tape. And tape around your um, eyes too. Co yeah. Cotton buds are lifesavers and a concealer. I mean, I tell ladies a lot to get a little pen concealer and actually run it underneath the flick to highlight the flick. So even if it's not absolutely perfect, you can highlight it with huh, a little concealer. Nice. Okay, a bit of a quick fire round for you. Quick what are, fire you, what round. are your, um, your three best do's and your don'ts? Okay, do always start on clean lids. A lot of women wear uh, waterproof. Uh, mascara mm -hmm. and they might take that off with an oil based remover. Make sure you've got clean lids. I always apply one uh, layer of mascara and actually it gives you a nice guide to run the liner along because the stiffened lashes help to rest the, li the okay. liquid liner on them. Um, and my other do is don't try, or it's more of a don't actually, don't rush it. You know, if you want to put a great eyeliner, liquid liner look together, give yourself some time to do that. Also, anchor your arm on a table and anchor your hand with your pinky on your face. Okay. So you're not you're not moving around. Because it's so going to be all... Your, you've got your liner there, anchor it, uh, use a little... I look, I look contorted this morning, but <laughs> use a little hand mirror and actually look into the mirror and anchor your arm so you're not moving around and coming at your, uh, at your okay. line. Okay, right, let's have a chat about these then. What is this one? Well, I bought this in a few weeks ago and I've mm. had so much feedback about it online and I know you have too on your Facebook page. It's a new calligraphy pen style liner 
tool Dip from Shiseido. Painted Dip on. It, it feels painted good. on. It's so easy to use. And that's an ink stroke liner, which actually is beautiful. So it actually, it's a gel, so it dries and it stays all day. Okay, just quickly, uh, we're running out of time. What about these ones through here? So Urban Decay got a bit of glitter in it. Um, beautiful green. I love green at the moment. Green actually works really well with brown eyes. Any little flecks of green that you mm. have in your eye. Razor Oops. straight. <laughs> Razor <laughs> sharp liner from Urban Decay. That way. Really fine brush, so that helps you can you can get a really good even line with that um, and build up build it up slowly. Bobby Brown do a great gel liner, long wearing gel liner, and that is so easy to apply. And Revlon's got quite a new um, felt to pen liner, which I thought was really cute. Oh, go Revlon. Um, and it works really well, especially if you're not that confident with <coughs> eyeliner. So try and find something that you feel more confident using, and the gels are probably the easiest. Um, the last one is from Lancome, um, the brush moves. So it's quite clever. You get that. Oh wow! Yeah. So you've got you can move it. You can use it straight, or and that's grandiose from Longcom. Excellent. There hey, are so thank you many so much. out there. Trial and error. We're out of time, but I could just play with these for out a of, lot longer than this. Fun. Trudy, thank you so much. Pleasure. Now for more of Trudy's tips, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.